Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have It's Enzo with 1049 rating versus Triv Gaming with 1136 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Triv Gaming's YouTube channel, link down below at the very top of the description, and going ahead and hopping right in, we are going to see Triv Gaming win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they're going to go first, 45 versus 60, opening hands, we have Conquistador, Wakero, Firewall Guardian, Imperm, and Dasher. And then they have Polly, Gold Sark opening, Polly, and Snow. So we are going to see that it's Despia versus the Cybers Eldlish deck. Uh, it's Enzo got third place at the uh, the YCS Charlotte with this deck. So, you know, they, they, they know how to play it pretty decently. Uh, they're going to activate Gold Sark, go banish Tragedy, and then Tragedy effect to go search. That's going to grab the Aluber. Then summon Aliber, effect, chain imperm on it. Go ahead and shut that down. Set thinking on res now. Uh, they're gonna activate branded opening. So branded opening, discard snow, special summon out ad lib. And then they're gonna get rid of those. So let, let, let's see, do they catch it? Yeah, they don't catch it. So uh, branded opening says also for the rest of the turn after this resolves, you can only special one from the extra deck, or you can't special one from the extra deck except for fusion monsters. Uh, so it has the same restrictions uh, restrictions as branded opening does, but a lot of people don't know this card has that restriction. Uh, I've seen a good amount of people cheat with that. I'm actually going to call out everything that I've seen people accidentally cheat with in this deck as it comes up. Uh, so they're going to summon Mirror Jade. And then just go ahead, Mirror Jade effect, dump, banish, end phase effect, set Brandon in red, pass turn, draw Scarlet. So, I mean, they got they got like the whole Eldritch engine here. And they're just going to admit defeat, realizing that the normal summon Cybers, it loses out the Brandon in red, or Snow. Their Eldritch traps aren't really going to do anything in that scenario. So... Going on to the next game, we're going to see Enzo go first. Opening hands, we have Anti-Spell, Curse, Scarlet, Ash, Bell. They have Brandon in red, Poly, Fusion Destiny, Poly, Edge, and so they're playing the Fusion Destiny package. Uh, that's interesting. That's something that in like TCG, before Despia came out, everyone was like, oh, Fusion Destiny is mandatory. And then, like, right before it actually came out, people were like, why are we playing this? It, we don't Anaconda. Two good cards in the deck to put two bad cards in the deck. Eh, probably not worth as uh, cool with like uh, Pot of Prosperity, but you don't really need it. Um, activate Curse, go search Conquistador. It doesn't work well with the engine as well as like Fusion Destiny Package does with other decks. Like Cyber Seldlish, it works insane in this deck. Uh, now they're just going to set, pass, draw Alubur, and then flip anti-spell. So pretty much telling the opponent that they're skipping their turn. Grab Branded Fusion, and like if your opponent's skipping a turn, and you're playing with Eldritch cards, that's really strong. Summon out Golden Lord. Are they just going to set 5? Yeah, just set 5, pass, draw Walk Arrow. Um, they're gonna go main phase, activate Conquistador, so summon out, pop Aluber, uh, attack for 3,000. Um, if this was the play, like, if your opponent sets five, right, and you're just like, okay, next turn, this is what I'm gonna do, wouldn't you Conquistador pop in the end phase, so that way... Your Conquistador can activate its Graveyard effect this turn. Activate Curse, pay it, feel great, go search. Maybe they weren't going to... There's like no... Yeah, 100% they would use Conquistador because they have Curse to search, like let's say Conquistador, and Scarlet to Sidewalk Hero, and those are both their Golden Land traps. So they had access to both of those already. So it's like, you don't want to like hold Conquistador or anything. Uh, Golden Lord, you're to Curse, special summon itself out. Think of using Cursed Effect. I want to say that they're not going to do it because it's kind of just waste of resources at this point. Yeah, Anaconda Effect, pay 2k, dump the Fusion Destiny, and then dump the Bricks. No Imperm there, which they're probably surprised about. Uh, End Phase Enforcer. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Despia just 
I'm like if you play versus Despia, you're just like almost never getting double hand trapped, which is nice because that means like I'm never getting fully stopped. I'm gonna pop Anaconda, Poly, Pass, draw Talons, and then they are thinking here during standby they're gonna enforce her effect. What do they hit? What do they hit? Ooh, it's Branded Fusion. That's, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Enforcer Graveyard Effect. Activate Branded in red to try to add back. And then in response, they're going to Chain Walk Carol on that. And then... Yeah, normal summon out the Edge Gym Chain. Battle Phase Attack. And then activate the effect to go search for an Edge Gym Chain. You'd actually have to use the effect like on the attack. Like, you want to take the damage. And you wouldn't say K. You would attack and then search, like effect the search. Kind of, kind of like Dogmatica Knight. Uh, main phase two, Poly. Said wait, I don't have a target. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what they're bringing out here. Uh, activate Fusion Destiny, Chain Ash Blossom. They admit defeat. So now going to game three, we're gonna get to see Despia go first. And opening hands, we have Fusion Destiny, Temple, Scythe, Faithful Adventure, Dotscaper. No going second cards. They have Aluber, Poly, Snow, Tragedy, Aluber. Okay, so we're going to summon out Aluber. Effect. This is already not looking good for Enzo. Search for Branded Fusion. And then activate Branded Fusion. So Branded Fusion, dump in two. They're going to dump Fawn of Albaz and Mali. Um, that's like, it, it's like almost crazy, right? But that was probably like the same way it was in virtual world where it's like almost crazy. Oh, well, let's see. Is he doing anything crazy spicy with it? If so, like, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's just putting me onto the goo right now. Bring out Mirror Jade. Banish Mali, summon Mali. Okay, heroes are so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I, I don't know, like, you get an extra body off of it, which is cool. Um, But I was like, yeah, like, you get an extra body, but, like, like what, what do you get out of it, you know? It's not like Andreas Torres list at Charlotte where he was playing like the Mali Denier, but like Branded Fusion wasn't a thing yet. So you weren't ever like locked, you know, when you were doing your turns. So you were able to like push and make dark and stuff. But Mirror Jade send to banish and then activate Polly. And then Polly's going to get rid of two, bring out Dragos to Palia and defense, by the way, which is bad because it can get beat over by a token now the right token uh tragedy go search and then end phase effect set branded in red past turn draw imperm yeah so that turn was done a little bit weird um and now they're gonna go main phase activate imperm on the dragos to palia to negate it Activate Fateful, and then Fateful Effect. So they're going to search out Temple. Discard Temple. Okay. I was thinking, like, maybe Search Griffin, Discard Temple. Search for right, Activate right, and then bring out the token. Fateful Adventure Effect, Search Draco back. And then activate Draco back, effect target Branded in red. They're going to chain the Branded in red. So Branded in red is going to add back Tragedy. And then they're going to get rid of Dragos to Palia, add Lib, and Tragedy to bring out the Guardian Chimera. And now new chain link, Guardian Chimera, add Lib, Tragedy effect. So Tragedy is going to go search, add Lib, special back, and they're going to grab Aluber. And then special summon back out Mirror Jade, draw two, pop the token, they draw branded opening and branded lost. Normal summon dotscaper. On the summon, they're gonna snow. Uh, 
Banish seven, summon out, and then effects set the dot scaper. Okay, okay. Um, and then fusion destiny. Yeah, I guess just like hard draw fusion destiny plus scythe is pretty good. So battle phase, attack snow, and then they're gonna activate mirror jade effect, and then in response, chain enforcer. Uh, so Enforcer is going to pop itself, and then they're thinking on the pop, yeah, just pop Mirror Jade. Uh, so they still have to banish off of that. Um, they just never did. Yeah, so this card doesn't target or anything. Yeah, and they just, like, reminded them there, like, yo, we got to banish that. And then End Phase, Effect, Sub, Branded, and Red. What, what I know in hand right now, just Aluber. Um, they know two Aluber because one was added back off of the Brandon Red, and the other one was added off Tragedy. Pass, draw Gold Sark, and then standby phase, bring out Enforcer. But it, you know, it's not like Triv's job to remember what the opponent knows to tell them. So they're gonna go standby phase, Enforcer effect, and just being able to skip a turn with Eldritch cards really big you know they get to bring out scythe here so they probably should just added brandon in red right like what what's the point of setting it there like setting it doesn't really do anything so that was just a misplay on their part could have just added it could have just not even gone for brandon in red honestly should have just added branded fusion right uh scythe effect and then normal summon aluber aluber go search brandon in red and now they're in a battle phase attack sites so that way they can get a despia in graveyard um for brandon and red and then activate gold sark and then gold sark banish uh, banish mercurier mercurier to grab eclasia um because this mentions fawn of albaz yeah and that's all that needs to add okay fair enough Plain Ecclesia. A little bit weird, but uh, think before end phase. Yeah, end phase is gonna get destroyed. But it, it it was brought back off of its effect. It wasn't summoned off Fusion Destiny there, so it shouldn't actually be destroyed. Draw Contact C. Think and draw phase. Do you have Dasher and draw phase? Nope. Now they're thinking if they want to use Brandon and Red. They don't. Standby phase, bring out Enforcer. Well, that's good, at least. Because if they would have used that, then that would have been like a messed up game state. Uh, effect pop, Brandon and Red. Enforcer graveyard effect. And then they're thinking here. So it's going to like tag out during main phase. So just saying battle phase kind of like forces it there. Uh, Tribute Ecclesia, summon out Fallen of Albaz. And then Fawn of Albaz effect, discard, turn Scythe and Fawn of Albaz, and then they're going to summon, effect, and effect. So they can go search, and they're saying think here, but they just can't respond because Branded have lost. Said, wait, actually think, let me know if it's good, thinking, give me a minute. Yeah, I mean, they, they can't respond because of Branded lost. So... They're going to search Fawn of Albaz. Okay. Search Fawn of Albaz. And then banish. Bring out Mirror Jade. And then activate Temple effect. So Temple. Banish. Grab right. Fateful Adventure. Fateful Adventure is going to grab Griffin. And then discard contact C, activate right, activate Griffin. Contact C is like, it's pretty nice against this deck. Um, Branded Lost does kind of make contact C like way worse because there's just no good time to contact C them. Like you have to like drop it early. And if you're dropping it early, like out and like normal something Alibur effect chain contact C, just make Anaconda and like that's just Branded Fusion. It's not as good sometimes because they can't like dump snow to grave, but it's still like good enough. 
Celestial to draw. Let's find out. What do they draw? Scarlet. Conquistador. Okay. Um, well, they've got their Eldritch Engine. <laughs> Battle phase. Attack Snow. Main phase 2. Set 2. And then end phase. I guess the end of main. They're going to Mirror Jade. They're going to dump. Oh my gosh. They You can't dump that, by the way. Okay, unless... Yeah, so this has to dump a fusion monster that mentions Fallen of Albaz as a material. But I guess they're just playing this. Which probably doesn't do a lot though, right? Do they realize? Um, so they don't realize that they can't send that as cost. Okay, then, then now they realize. Not Fallen of Albaz. So they're going to dump Ash to Banish Griffin. Um, they could chain Griffin to negate that. They do lose their token, though. They get to keep Griffin. The opponent loses their Mirror Jade. So now they're going to get Ash and Ecclesia. Because this doesn't have to be from Field. Yeah, just one was sent to the graveyard this turn. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, add back Ecclesia. And then they could Ash. But... They don't play Third Fallen of Albaz. No, they probably don't play Dogmatic, as I'm guessing. Yeah. Draw Poly. Pink and draw phase. Nothing during draw phase. Standby phase. Bring out Enforcer. So they know Ecclesia, Fallen of Albaz. Mm hmm. Well, not Alibur. But yeah, Fallen of Albaz. Same thing. Both, both like level fours in that engine. So now they're going to bring out Snow by banishing. Um. Is that seven? Okay. Oh, I'll just believe in that was seven. And then Enforcer effect. In response to which effect? Uh, okay, so in response to Snow's Graveyard effect, they're going to chain Enforcer to pop Mirror Jade. And then Mirror Jade and Enforcer will now go off. And then activate Poly. So... Polly's going to get rid of those three, go for Guardian Chimera, and then Guardian Chimera effect. And then this will prompt them to go ahead, Chain Conquistador, Chain Scarlet, Special Out, pop that, because this only protects from being targeted if there's a Polly in Graveyard. And now they get the pop, so they're going to pop the Conquistador and Fateful, Normal Summon Fallen of Albaz effect, discarding the Edge Gym Chain, by the way, which... It's just such a good... Oh, they're going to bring out this, the Iron Dash. Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, this card's also good versus Contact Seed. And now they're going to get the Edge Gym Chain effect. Go search for the Patchwork. Um, they have gone through two Poly, though. So, this isn't going to actually do anything. It is free, though. You know, getting the draw this and then discard this to search patch, Patchwork, which is an extra card for Snow. Oh, they just play three poly. Oh, never mind. They just they just play three poly. And now effect. So move it over one. Effect pop token. And then normal summon battle phase attack. Um, they have only gone through two edge gym chains. They probably play three because you'd want to play three edge gym chain before you play three poly. Uh, and then Edge of Chain Effect, go Surge. Main Phase 2, End Phase, Ecclesia, Add Back. And then activate the effects. Do they play 3 Brandon right if they do? I was going to say if they do, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, they've already gone through the third. Ha, huh, crazy. So they're playing 3 Brandon Red, 3 Poly, 45. Yep. It's going to second cards. Eh, not doesn't seem like it. So now I go standby phase, bring out Enforcer. This card is put in work. This Enforcer has came back like five times. So they're gonna go battle phase, beat over, and then effect. Go search for patchwork. It's crazy how much scene the one edge gym chain is done. Patchwork, Ecclesia, Poly, and Chain in hand. Yep, they know the entire hand and the set branded opening. 
They're going to chain branded opening in response to enforcer effect. Uh, get rid of Ecclesia, bring out Tragedy, and they're going to pop Tragedy effect. They probably don't have a target for this. They do? I thought they went through all three. Aluber, Adlib. No targets? Okay. <laughs> See, mo most people aren't playing the... Um, oh, I actually just forget its name. Uh, the Imperm one. When it's banished, summon it. Imperm. That one's not bad. That one's not bad. Um, definitely testing it out. Trying to get like a bigger Despia actual package in. But then it's like not that crazy because it's like the Despia cards are... And the extract's nice. The main deck, you don't need a lot of the Despias to get a lot of the effect of it. Like the stickiness and that it has the follow-up. It's hard to game through because of what it sets up. You know, non-banish, non-targeting banish, non-targeting non destruction. It's just kind of hard to game through stuff like that. Or like snow. Snow is ridiculous. So, so many cards you get through snow. Activate the effect to move itself to try to pop, and then in response, they're just gonna chain enforcer um, effect, pop, and then enforcer graveyard effect. Trying to remember what's in my deck. You can check if you want, I don't care. Yeah, it's like you may you may as well let them check. It it just makes it easier. It's DB. So talents to draw, chain ash. And now they're gonna activate tragedy to banish to set branded in red summon out snow by banishing okay okay then normal summon out the edge gym chain battle phase attack on the attack activate scarlet bring out golden lord they still have enforcer coming back they have the Eldritch Engine rolling. The Eldritch Engine could be like all pretty much all the way used. Oh, chain the Scarlet? Ah, chain what? Hey, you can't because it's a, it's a quick play that was set that turn. Yeah, they <laughs> he gets it out. Long game hurts my head. No worries. I have no answers. No more fusions left. GG. Oh, okay. GG's. Top two cards didn't seem like they'd matter anyways. You know, I played two Fallen of Albas, so that was just a card that didn't do anything, and they'd already used Talons. Oh, but I think they had shuffled their deck because they'd gone through it, yeah. So the draws would have been different. But we're going to see that that match was 53 minutes long. That was a pretty good game three, considering the fact that Enzo didn't draw going second card um, until they drew Imperm as the sixth card. Yeah, I would, I would say that was pretty nice. Um, obviously, hard draw, Fusion Destiny, Scythe. Like, it's kind of hard to play around that. Um, there's definitely Mally. Mally, interesting. And then the hero that they're playing that can dump the hero. I always thought that Fusion that can dump. I feel like one day that card's going to be broken, like, it's time will eventually come. I remember seeing that card. It, it, that card's been out for a while. I remember when I, I was like one of the first times I saw and read that card. I was just like, oh, this is going to be broken one day. It has to be broken. It's just foolish. And it's an extra monster that foolish is like. That's got to be good. Um. But with all of that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.